<laughs> Hi guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome back to another episode of Tiny Tips with Tiff where I teach you skills in the NICU. So in this episode, I'm going to focus on what to do when your baby desats and how you should react in that situation. So this is going to be the last episode of the series. So definitely give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so far and make sure to check out season one of the series. But this one, I wanna focus on what to do in a situation where your baby is desatting, which basically means that their oxygen saturation is dropping and how you should you react in that scenario. So a lot of times people tend to freak out when they see their oxygen saturation drop and they immediately wanna rush and do something Thing. but I want to tell you guys to make sure to calm down and look at the monitor and look at your baby. A lot of times it can be artifact. If your baby is moving around or the oxygen saturation probe isn't even on properly, it's going to read in an accurate waveform and it may not be appropriate. So make sure to look at the waveform on your monitor and make sure that it is appropriate and look at your baby. Is your baby breathing? Is your baby having difficulty breathing? If they're having increased work of breathing, then okay, you can escalate but if they're breathing comfortably then just monitor them and the second thing is really give them a chance to come up on their own a lot of times nurses freak out when they start desatting and they want to crank up on the fio2 if the baby is on oxygen support and really you guys need to be careful on when you increase fio2 because that can lead to um, ROP, which is retinopathy of prematurity, and it really can damage their eyes. So when we're giving oxygen, we really need to be careful on when we increase our oxygen support. So really look at your baby and give them a chance to come up on their own. And a lot of times they're slowly able to come up slowly, but surely. And so I kind of give my babies a chance to come up on their own. And if they are unable to, or they're going up too slowly, then sure, you can go and escalate further. But a lot of times I like to wait and see and give my baby a few seconds to come up on their own. And if they are able to, then that's great. But if they aren't, then we can move on to the next step. So the next thing is if your baby is in the bed and they're fully wrapped and bundled, go in there and unwrap your baby. And a lot of times stimulating them and just giving them a little um, shake. Um, we don't wanna shake our babies, but kind of just giving them a little rub on their chest or kind of just like giving them a little pat on their arm or on their legs helps to wake them up and kind of stimulates them to start breathing. And so a lot of times that may help. So really unbundling them if they're comfortable, it really helps to wake them up sometimes. And a lot of times that helps to um, trigger them to breathe. So the first thing you wanna do when you go into your patient's room is assess your baby. So make sure that when the baby is sleeping that their heads and their necks isn't being fully extended forward. Cause a lot of times babies, when they sleep supine, they kind of fold their necks in and it kind of occludes their airway. So you wanna make sure that their head is extended and that there aren't blocked off their airway and then you want to just go and assess your baby so the first thing you want to do is just slowly unwrap your patient and then also check where the probe is so a lot of times the o2 sat um, isn't reading properly so you can always just take it off and put it on another extremity and make sure to look at your monitor so that the waveform is accurate you want an accurate waveform and when you reposition it, make sure that it's not bending the probe because a lot of times if it's bending, it's not gonna read properly. So you wanna make sure that it's reading appropriately and assess your monitor. And then of course, look at your patient. The first thing you can do is suction your baby. So you can just suction the mouth and the nose and make sure to get anything out of their airway. A lot of times there can be secretions or boogers that are blocking their airway. So that's one thing you can do also. And then the next thing you can do is just sit your patient up, having them sit upright, and then also giving them some stimulation on their chest as well as on their back you can also do it on their feet as well and kind of rub their feet and their hands too but a lot of times we do like a little bit of a chest rub you don't want to shake them too hard but you kind of want to rub them to kind of get them to breathe and that should help stimulate them to breathe a lot of times babies just get super comfortable when they're sleeping and they just tend to forget so you want to give them a little wake up and have them kind of breathe on their own and then once your baby is hopefully able to stabilize or if they're on oxygen, you can always increase the FiO2, but make sure to do it slowly. You don't want to increase it too quickly. So I like to go in increments of five, tens, and then all the way up to 100% if you need to. But try to go very slowly with increasing the FiO2 because it can really damage their eyes. So I also just want to mention to you guys that if your baby is on oxygen, such as a high flow or a CPAP, and they have an OG or an NG, you wanna get an oral syringe and just pull out any of the air that you can get in their stomachs. Because sometimes um, if they get too much air in their bellies, it actually pushes up against their lungs and it makes it hard for them to breathe. So if you are able to release any of the air out of their 
um, stomachs, it actually helps them to breathe a lot better. So that's another technique that you guys can do as well. And then also to go along with that, if your patient is desatting a lot and they are on oxygen such as a CPAP or high flow, you can also vent them as well by taking an oral syringe and just pulling off the plunger and then just venting out the air. And that way it helps relieve any of the air that gets into their bellies. And it really does help um, with them from desatting just because like I said, a lot of times air gets pushed into their bellies with they're on such high oxygen support that it causes them to inflate their bellies too much and it pushes up against their lungs and it's hard for them to breathe. So venting them out is actually a great way to get rid of any unnecessary air in their stomachs and helps to prevent desatings. And you wanna make sure that when the baby is stabilized and you're gonna put them back to bed, you can go ahead and just swaddle them and then positioning is also very important too. You wanna make sure that when you position your patient that if they are the type to desat a lot, you can always position them on the side. It helps to open up their airway. So any side is fine, or you can position your baby prone. So what you can do is you can grab a bird cloth. I'm just using a towel for this um, demonstration. But what you can do is you can fold it like this. I like to grab my towel and fold it into threes. And that way it kind of creates a little burp cloth um, surfboard and then I'll put it on the baby's belly and then you can kind of position your baby like this um, on their bellies and make sure that when you do you have them turned their necks on the side so that's how they would sleep on their bellies if they're going to put them prone or if you're going to put them supine then go ahead and grab your burp cloth and you want to create a nice little shoulder roll so you'll fold your blanket like this and it kind of helps to create a little shoulder roll that you can put underneath them so you can place it like that. And then that way it really helps to open up their airway and they don't occlude their necks like this. So you can do that if you want to position them supine. So hopefully this video is helpful to you guys and let me know down in the comments below what other videos you would like me to do and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Cut.